useful in Dark Jacket. Gotta get a top tier protector. That is really nice. This weapon is more powerful than normal. Holy crap. 50? Oh, mm, accuracy down a lot, though. Like, double the attack power, though. Gotta get a top tier protector. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a dark jacket. Is this the result you desire? Assume your new form. Nice. All right, I do plan to keep using it, I think. Give it a shot and see. Ah, so this is your intent. Now you shall be reborn. Well, function. Fine Grace card, okay. Electric chair fanatic. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, I love the room there. Do you need something? So I think you missed it while you're having your smoke. Uh, there's a, a new thing in this version of the game also is that they'll have a uh, alarm uh, that happens randomly after so many battles, whatever. You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. I got, uh, I'm 40% completed with this thing. The okay, let's check. You got your guillotines, your gallows to strengthen personas. Uh, let me see. Persona of sacrifice. Big cloth off. That will do. This is what the persona should then let us begin. So you can power them up with the gallows, or, you know, it's really funky. I mean, if you take a look at Persona 3, uh, you summoned your Persona by literally shooting yourself in the head. I mean, it's like, yeah, the stuff along with these... Uh, oh, oh, hold on, I'm um, all stat buffs for all foes. Yeah, let's get rid of Dodge Electric. Uh, then medium chance of forget to all foes. Spare or forget. Uh, I forget that one. I don't want to... I was just illustrating the other... Uh, uh, really fast though what these will turn into uh, um do you really need this oh nice right, you know what let's go ahead and do this guy select 
select the skills you'd like to inherit. Receive significant this one. Eh, a little bit. Then let us begin. Yeah, Neko Shogun is going to do some work in this uh, palace for me, but it's also maxed, so. Chance to forget to all foes versus one foe, right? Yep. Heavy psychic damage to one foe. Yes, please. Uh... Not terrible, but not impressive. This has blessed skills. I do kind of want to do that. Let's do it. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Looking shock. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you actually saw this cutscene, so I won't skip this one. Me, hey, Unicorn, me become your mask, protect you from unclean thing. Okay, yeah, yes, it is. This persona is already with Oh, you. I still have it. Oops. Done already? What? Alright. Uh no, I wanna still do stuff here. Because I need to double check my personas. So I have a psychic. I have my healer. I have a curse. I have an electric. I have a fire. I've got a wind and gunner. And I've got a bless. So I am missing a nuclear and an ice. You'd like to read the registration? You'd like to register this? 
breathe here. This persona? Oh. This persona? This persona? He's got nuclear. Is this what oh. you want? Is this what you want? Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? This persona? Is this what you want? This persona? This persona? Is this what you want? Yeah. Okay, uh... Is this what you want? A fee is required. Then accept this persona. This persona? Is this what you want? A fee is required. This is your power. Yeah, just to make sure I have a full set here. It is time, inmate. Okay, so here's the trick. That stuff above level 90, you'll notice those are all yellows. Those are DLC creatures. Um, so the level of the persona directly correlates to my character's power. Um, so right now, my character's level is actually like 46 or 47, I want to say. So if I'm using this one being at level 32, I'm actually going to have lower stats. So you see my high stat is my magic at 26. If I look at my level 47, you know, I got like 43 magic. So those really high level personas are uh, available to me because they're DLCs, which is part of just the game that comes here. So I'm avoiding picking those uh, because really they're just OP for where I'm at in the game. Uh, if you look at my actual character level my character is level 46 and everybody else is like 44 or whatever their personas levels directly correlate to their levels because they only have one persona since i have multiple by selecting my persona i change my stats uh, so i'm looking in the 40 to 50 range that way i'm competitive to the creatures i'm fighting but i'm not uh you know just OPing through the game because I'm using a level 90 persona against level 40s. Okay, uh, and who do we got, by the way? Yeah, I think this team is fine for right now. Yeah, essentially. It's because it's like, yeah, I mean, I could power through, but then it's like I could be hit by, like, nothing and everybody else would suck. Also, um, my, uh, my character's ability to switch all of their uh, capacities and use all the different personas is my big um, uh, benefit because I can switch and hit weaknesses that my party members can't. You know, so I want to be switching around, but if I'm tr using a high-level persona to try to do something higher than I should, then I switch to a lower-level persona, I'm going to get my ass kicked. If I'm trying to get a fairly level-appropriate uh, power sets. Oh, interesting. I have to set off the lasers? I mean, this is just going to set off the... Uh... Oh, nope, I can't go through it. Okay. Interesting. Somewhere. Need to turn off stuff before I can get in there?
Come on, somewhere. I can literally see the little jump thing. Oh, it's jump down. Really is a factory, just like the name says. But I wonder what they're making here. Huh. Do you think it's related to that escape to Utopia thing? Hold on a sec. Ain't the guys in here moving kind of weird? Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of how you would imagine a utopia to be. These conveyor belts and the positioning of the workers. This is almost identical to the company's fun factory. I can't believe this. At the very least, this is how Okumura views his workers. My apologies for saying so, Noir, but this is truly atrocious. Well, it'll all be under control if we can trigger that change of heart in him, yeah? Let's go. Come back for that will seed, I guess. Show me your true form. Lillen. And huh? Well, gee, it just so happens. First step is my wind user. Not bad, Mona. Just stay there. Is this okay? For real? Not bad. For real? Oh, darn it. Let's withdraw. All right. See any of these things you can break. Only the ones that glow in my other vision are worth breaking. So check out this really fast. Product control arm console. It's currently undergoing a required system update. Please wait patiently. Must be right beyond that door. No authentication here, kind of anticlimactic. Wait. Oh, that was uh, anticlimactic. or ten times normal speed. That was stuck on ten times for a while at break. Charge three X and see what happens. Yes. No way, man. Three X speed was enough to break it. Here's how overworked these machines are. Seems any increase in workload would have led to its collapse. You know, it's this is obviously a software problem. Their latest firmware update. Totally not the uh, not a hardware issue. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I haven't looked at the totals in a while. Should have been behaving a bit. Glancing at it. Between uh, button presses here, it's been in green though. Oh, no. I think it's me. Oh, sounds good. That's good. Let's... I'm in consoles. Aha! That's how you get to the wheel suit. And that's why there's the jump here. Seeds are another new thing they added. These are bonus uh, optional objectives. Green will potato. Uh, if you get all three, they'll fuse together, and then you go into so far. We're on a roll. go into uh, another zone. And another new character can convert it into a uh, new special type of object. Which has some really cool stats for each one. Need to examine. So it generally gives you a more or less unique skill. Like the very first one you get. Yeah, there's just my content's nice. Oh, hey! <laughs> I just made you. I feel slightly bad now. I could have made the other one and picked up the death horse in here. Uh, let's see. It's gunfire, right? Yeah, so those are totally optional things that were added in this version. But, uh, like I said, they got some really cool specs. So the very first one that uh, arrived the very, from the very first palace, the one that you get, Didn't even break a sweat. Um, gives you a skill that heals and raises attack at the same time. That's a really cool dual-use skill. I'm not doing the showtime because um, if I down that last one, you know, they have like 20 health left. And by downing them and doing it with uh, this rank, then I get a uh, bonus to the items. Also, that only uh, chooses one enemy. So it's just kind of. Show me your true form. Psychic. You don't have any skills that'll hit its weak spot. Let's go. This isn't it. 
So anyway, let's uh red phosphorus. I don't really care about red phosphorus, so. Time to break this arm. Oh dear, it broke down. We've gotten much closer. Yes, after quite the detour. panel. Break down the arm over there. Get across, yep. We'll, we'll hit the next one probably. to uh this chest here. Big bang axe. My this is yes. Yeah okay that'll definitely level her up. Factory is huge. Hmm. It seems. Noir appears to be the one that manufactures the company's hamburger buns. Sure, the building in reality, but what do they make here? I'll reveal your true form. 